Hello there fellow world of humans and today I'm gonna review the T26 E4 because it is in the shop right now for 12,500 gold together with the T26 and the T23 in this bundle right here. Now, obviously the camouflage is included as well and uh, I don't know if this is a problem for you guys but having a large black thing in the frame might not be the best idea right now but uh, unfortunately it's a microphone so let's have a look nonetheless at the t26 this is a very old vehicle it's one of the original premium tanks back in the day when there was still two tier matchmaking so it's very old but is it still any good obviously this is how i would personally equip it the guide to ammo is very simple try to do somewhat a diagonal line here and then you have a perfect ammo loadout on basically any vehicle unless they have hash and stuff like that but this is how i would equip the vehicle here obviously toolbox engine accelerator improved optics that is always the default this thing has apcr as premium rounds which means the caliber doesn't make as much sense because apc obviously gives you a lot less boost here um so i'll go for the gun armor it only gives you 100 dpm but the, cal the caliber doesn't give you much either so that's that now refined gun to get down to 0.29 accuracy and the supercharger is uh useless as always unless you're a grill 15 so you go for the enhanced gun laying drive let's have a look at the stats of the vehicle now Obviously, like I said already, this is a very old vehicle that is also based on the regular Pershing. It's just a slower Pershing with extra armor, basically. You've got 2,000 DPM. you got 205 standard penetration, which is better than regular Pershing, which is 180. 2K DPM. Also have 10 degrees of gun depression, which means you can play the ridge lines quite well. But the power to weight ratio on this vehicle is only 11. Which means if you're trying to get up a hill, don't try that. This is a very slow vehicle, but is it going to make up for it with armor? It does have spacing all around, but the cupola on top can be penned very easily. Obviously, if you use the 10 degrees of gun depression, you can hide that cupola quite well, but only at 10 degrees. If, for example, you use 6, you can still be shot in that cupola up there. Now, this is all a spaced plate, which means that heat shells are going to somewhat have trouble going through. But, because these plates are so close together, you still can pen the lower plate with a lot of shells, especially on the sides of the plate, as you can see here. Always shoot at the sides. If you shoot at the center, you might not penetrate it, especially if you're a tier 7. You could struggle here to shoot at the sides of this plate. That's where it is thinner. And obviously, this cupola here, I don't recommend shooting at. It's very small. You're basically not going to hit it. You can also shoot below the gun mantlet here on uh, this side. So that is how you can get penned. Now, obviously, very spotty armor. Don't shoot at the gun mantlet, like on any vehicle. I also wouldn't recommend trying to aim for this because it's just way too small. And uh, we like big holes here. So, otherwise, the sh does the shell even fit through this? So, yeah, sides, don't bother. You don't really side scrape with this thing anyway. But if you angle it, you can get some decent armor out of this. Yeah, by the way, I have just learned that I can actually edit out the portion... Uh, where you wait in the queue instead of just talking random nonsense. So if you think that is worth a like, then uh, it's not. But let's see. Uh, <laughs> like, the jokes write themselves, not gonna lie. But um, let's see. Will I make a video about it? Maybe. Who knows? But right now we're talking about the T26E4 Predator. I have no idea what else you might be referring to. So I'm just reviewing this vehicle because it's in the shop right now. Uh, so there is nothing else that, that's going on here ever. And I, I can already tell you that, they don't, please don't buy this tank. Like, let, let's be honest here. This is a very old vehicle that simply hasn't been updated and hasn't gone with the time. And it is sort of on the same performance level as that of a regular Pershing where this vehicle has a lot, well, it doesn't really have that much more armor because you can still pen the cupola, you can pen the lower plate, you can pen under the turret. Uh, the Pershing has a lot more DPM uh, is a lot more agile. Obviously has uh, 25 millimeter standard penetration less. But honestly, if you enrich the Pershing, you're getting the same same performance. Probably better. But I still wouldn't recommend enriching the Pershing. I would actually recommend a, a good premium tank. And in this case, the Predator is not a great idea to own. There's a Leo. Gonna have to spin around for this one. Kind of sucks a little bit because that exposes me to the CDA. And uh, what we've learned over the past couple of days, do not expose your vital backside to the enemy because that could result in permanent death. And uh, I have to actually get the hell out of here. 
I, I will be very happy when this video is over because then I ha never have to play this thing again. So, come here. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, this is... Here's the thing about YouTube. Like, making videos fun. But playing Blitz for making the videos. Yeah, it's not very fun. So, let's see. What are we doing here? 2k damage. Could have done better. But who cares at this point? Beak it. To get close. Can't go for the ram. He has the capo. Go for the capola, boy. Go the wrong side. That's the one. Yes. No, you dummy. I'm telling him how to how to defeat me, and he can't. That's impressive. So, yeah, gonna die to the CDA now. It's always the French, huh? Always the French. So, maybe two. It's probably not gonna come any of this anyway. Got to somewhat dance around this guy. Probably gonna get shot in the capola. There you go. Are we at eight minutes yet? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not gonna play this again. So, don't buy this time. Just don't.